Hey, it's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So this time, we are doing the Bell Cup. At least I think that's what it's called. I'm ashamed I didn't remember it was the Bell Cup. Out of all the cups, come on, man. You were, I, you were talking about, um, Triforce, not Triforce, um, what's it called? You're talking about Super Mario 3D World the other day? Oh, I didn't read the name of the cup. Whatever, doesn't matter. So, oh yeah, who is that guy? The first of the, oh, whatever. So, we're doing, first map is Neo Bowser City. On 3DS, which is actually one of my favorite maps. Like, ever. I loved it in 3DS. And I did, I mean, I don't, this, and it's shinier, I guess, but, I don't know. 3DS is just like, there's, they got rid of some obstacles in 3DS that I was like, why do you, should you get rid of them? I think they were good. So here we go. Yeah, this map is going to be super easy in 200cc for me. And 150cc, because I have this more down to muscle memory. But yeah, this is the, I think it's the, there's it the cat bell. I don't remember what it's called. I'll figure it out in a second. But whatever. So, this map is very notorious for turns. And it's beautiful music. Just saying. So. No! No! Stupid. Red shell. So, as you, so this is Bowser City, basically. I wish this was in the game. So, here's where they got rid of obstacles. There used to be puddles. That were like, you had to dodge. Which I really liked. It was kind of an interesting detail. So, we're going to show one of our first secrets here. You might be saying, you're going to fall. You're going to fall. Nope. Ooh, I almost did fall. But yeah, there's a little um, clown car. Thingy majig. That you, <laughs> that you can... Um, I'm trying to figure out. That boosts air up. So, you can just fly right over to it. I should have held up more. See, I'm used to playing the faster races, so I'm more used to it. Alright, let's get rid of that banana. Grab two cubes. Actually, we grab three. Also, now that I think about it, the two cubes are from Double Dash. Yeah, because you, you get two people. That would be an interesting game to, like, 100%. Oh, no, don't make the same mistake as before. I won't lie, the turns kind of suck in 200cc. It's just, I'm kind of more used to it, because I've played this map so much in 3DS. Like, this Maple Treeway and a bunch of other maps, were, like, 3DS is what I played a lot. I kind of realized how bad it was later on. So here's something you could do. Alright, we'll do it on third lap. <laughs> I was, you can hit the, um, oh my god. You can hit the flagpole thingy, not flagpole. Oh my god, I gotta stop playing 3D Land. But, um, or 3D World, whatever. Uh, what am I trying to say? Just stop saying, uh, uh, no. All right. But yeah, the, um, you can hit the, uh, sign. This is Mario Kart. But yeah, this would be a cool map. Like, have Mario wander around in the city. Not like have, well, maybe have it as a level. You have to, like, figure out where Bowser's located. I don't know. That'd be a cool level in the new Bowser City. And you have these enemies everywhere that try to attack you. Because they know you're in the city. And you could like go in the buildings. That would be cool. Kind of like Grand Theft Auto. Maybe a little. But it would still be very cool. Alright come on hit it. Hit it. You can't hit it in this. Dang it. Alright in higher ones you can hit that thing. But whatever. So yeah I like this map. Next map is. Is it Subway? Super Bell Subway? I do not remember. It might be Super Bell Subway. If it's not it's Ribbon Road. Yep, it's Ribbon Road. Alright, Bell Cup. So, this is from Double Dash, I believe. So, here's something I'm going to say about this map. Be on, did we do online and get this map? I don't know. Yeah, I've never lost on this map. Not even in 200cc. Even against friends that were, like, better than me. I don't know. This map, it's not even a map I like too much. It's just, I barely even play this map. And I win a lot on it. Dang it. It's just an easy map, kind of. Like, in 200cc, I could play as Luigi in this map and win. Not Baby Luigi. Luigi. <laughs> so, here's something you can do. If we come over here, you'll see that see that little play box thing? You can turn. And, voila! Little secret path. So, here's another one. I don't know if you can do this one. Well, now I can't, can't do it. So, great. I'm going to fall off here. Oh, I did it! 
So yeah, you can fly. It's a little secret path, but I don't know if it's better. If you have a mushroom, I do recommend you do this. Do a quick drift and drift between the pillars. It's very faster than other ways. So yeah. This is, I didn't let go of that, but okay. <laughs> so here we go. This is a very good map, in my opinion. I like the music. It makes you think you're a kid again, kind of. It does, actually. Alright, so avoid these. What are those robot Koopa called? I don't even remember. It's something Koopa. That's all I know. It's not robotic Koopa. I should know this. I played Superstar Saga the other day in Bowser's Minions. So you can do tricks on this little road stuff. Oh, there's Yarn Yoshi! From Yoshi's Woolly World. I never noticed that. Aww. Yeah, you can see all these little, like, references and all these little, like, little details. Like, there's one of the carts you can get. Yeah, it's, like, so nice. I know it's a kid's room, but, like, you can see all these references of, like, you know, other games or, like, you know, this game itself. It's kind of like a baby theme. It's basically baby theme. Oh, I thought that was a coin. I was like, wait, what did I get hit by? So, yeah, we're going to try to end this with five coins. Hopefully. So, yeah, there's, like, board games of, um... With baby Mario and stuff on them. I don't remember where they are. There's a boomerang over there. This room kind of reminds me of the room from N64 for Super Smash Bros. You know, the one where Master Hand pulls the people out of the box to play. It kind of does remind me of that room. So, yeah, there's baby Mario. Oh, come on! I just want coins! Oh, didn't get those coins. Alright, one. I'll probably get an item box of a coin, so that'll be good. Two. Oh. There's more coins over here. I know there are. Sweet. We're ending the race of ten. Let's go. Screw you, Toad. Oh, I missed. Cool, n cool guys don't look at explosions. I'm kind of hoping that, that actually happened. Who knows? So, next map is... Super Bell Subway. Or Bell Subway. One of the two. Let's see. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, Super Bell Subway. Alright. So, this is a new map. I don't know when it was added. It, I, yeah, it was Mario Kart 8. I was trying to think. Yeah, there's DLC, so I didn't, I didn't buy the DLC, obviously. But, yeah, this is um, an interesting map. To say the least. I don't care for it, let's say. I do I think it's good? It's alright. I just don't like it as some as the others. I mean it's very creative, you know, you're in a subway and you have to avoid the trains. And there's these little like side areas you can go on. And there's so much you can do on this map, guys, so just I can't show all of it. I'm gonna do what I normally do because honestly I worry about this map when I play it, because I feel like I'm gonna lose a lot. Oof, that was not good. So yeah, here's where the subway kind of ends. And here we go. Oh my god, that, that subway scared me. So this is the part where uh, it's kind of hard in 200cc. You have to make a full U-turn in 200cc. Very difficult. That is why you use your brakes. R for brakes. Use R for brakes. You know what else you do? Do barrel roll. Oh, that, you were supposed to do barrel roll. That wasn't a dead barrel roll. That wasn't a darn barrel roll. Ooh, can I get purple? Nope. Okay. Sure. Whatever. I'm not gonna complain. Here we go. Ooh, that was tight. So yeah, this map is kind of... This is probably... Some people probably like this map. I'm just not a fan. This is more of a safer route going up. Nope. Your turn. So this map kind of more reminds me of Coconut Mall, which I'm upset they didn't add that to this game. Well, I think they didn't know where would you add a 3D. Not 3D, a, um, what's it called? The anti-gravity feature in that. I mean, that's a good point when you think about it. Oh my god! 
Yo, chill. <laughs> At least we're in front of a speed boost and we got our money back. But still. I don't really know where you'd at. I think every... Does every level have anti-gravity? This one actually might not. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, almost all levels have anti-gravity. And I guess they just wanted to have that feature in every level. I did not let go. Oh, well, we're not ending on 10 coins. But yeah, almost every level has anti-gravity. I believe this one actually might not. Baby Park has it. Um, I'm trying to think of any that doesn't. No, I think they all do. This one actually might be one of the few that... Yeah, this one doesn't actually. Huh. It's weird. Yeah, this is one of the few that doesn't have uh, anti-gravity. Weird that they didn't have that on a DLC map. Because you'd think they would like heavily influence it there. <sighs> yay, yay. Yeah, every map might actually have anti-gravity, but this one... I mean, if you know any, you could put a comment, but, yeah. Dang, that amazes me. Alright, so the last map is blue, big blue? Yeah, big blue. So, like that Rainbow Road and Lightning Cup, um, this is a three, this is not one lap and then, you know, next lap. No, this is a, a whole part, whole, you have to do the whole thing for it to end. So, here we go. Well, not whole thing for it to end. Well, you know what I mean. It's like, it's a multi -barter. So let's get our coins, or regain our energy, because there are no coins in this map. This is the only way to get coins, so make them count. Alright, here we go. So this is one of my, I do love this map, this map is pretty good. I, I, if, I if you were to say, hey, let's play Big Blue, I'd be like, sure. Because I, like, the thing is, it's not that hard of a map to pick up. I mean, yeah, it is a little fast, especially in 200cc, but, you know, whatever. Actually, we're going to get rid of that coin so we have a horn instead. Because I know my luck. We actually haven't gotten hit yet. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, and I like how the little checkpoints give you, uh, what's it called? Boost. So, in this part of the map, you want to stay in the water. Now, there might be secret ways, but I'm sorry, I will not know the secret ways. Trust me, this map is very, very big. That's why it's called Big Blue, for instance. Alright, here we go. Time to fly. Alright, last lap. Let's do this. This is where it gets intense. Oh my god, I missed it. No! I was trying to be silent so you guys could hear the music and then I missed. Alright. So now we're upside down completely, which I never really thought about. Thought. I swear, if a blue shell comes right now, I'm going to be so angry. Actually, they're catching up. Oh, no, never mind. They have to go through that loop-de-loop -loop area. So, yeah, you can take two paths. I actually don't even decide what path I take. It's just whatever one I'm, like, already going towards. I think they both are the same. I don't know. So, here we are at the end. You can clutch it with a mushroom normally at the end, but, yeah. And, like Mount Wario, they do something I personally love. They do the cool drift. Right there. Hold on, we're gonna wait a second to see if anyone runs into us. Once we see people flying by, that's how we know, you know, if they're if they're like about to run into us. Dang, were they were they that far behind? Come on. Oh yeah, I like the victory music too. Come on. Come on. You know what? Whatever. I guess they may... Well, maybe they're not going fast enough. I don't know. Who cares? But, yeah. But who is that guy there? The one with the cape next to the Mario Kart to the right. In front of Isabel and Link. Who is that? I want to know. I don't know who it is. Because I don't know anyone who wears a helmet like that and a cape. Oh, well, I know who I'm killing next time. I'm joking. Oh, you know what I just realized? This is our final 50cc cup. Which means we'll be moving on to 100cc. So we're going to be picking up speed. First we started slow. Picking up speed. And the AI will be set to normal, I believe. Not easy. So this is going to get a little intense. 
So here we go. I like how this one's purple, but still not very clever in design. It would be better if you know they like actually made a bell cup. I think that would have had detail. Oh, I guess we see an ending. So I guess I'll talk actually talk about that. So I'm gonna talk about how I feel about this game in 50 CC. It's when I first played this in 50 CC. When you first play any Mario Kart 50 CC, you don't realize how slow you're going. I will not lie, you do not notice how slow you're going. Like personally, when I played Mario Kart 7, I thought I was going fast in 50 CC. And I never really went to 150 CC because I'm like, I'm kind of already going pretty fast. It can't be much faster, but it is actually. So yeah, it's just, I, sorry, but like, it's very slow. I understand it's for a beginner, someone who's just starting out, which I respect that. You got to have something easy for a beginner. Um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in general, good game. I won't go into full talk yet, but for right now, I feel it's a great game. Did Donkey Kong just dab twice? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys can go back and pause that. Did he just dab twice? I, I, I'm not I'm not seeing things. Alright, whatever. But, oh, I like that car design. Oh, that's kind of cool with the tail. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, sorry, I'm getting off topic. 50cc, I enjoy it. It's very, it's a very enjoyable game. It's not like 50 CC is not frustrating. It's kind of like taking it slow, enjoying, taking time to look at stuff, find secrets. Hundred. Now, when we get to the higher ones, I'll give my opinions on those. But for 50 CC, it's good. If you're starting out and you need, and also if you're having a friend over who doesn't know how to play, it just helps them get started. And also, you can learn the secrets. Now it is bet. Now if you're going to go actually play online and stuff, you gotta learn because you're not going to be doing 50 CC all the time online. So yeah. Um, what else can I talk about while I'm waiting for these long credits? I do love how all the characters they added to this game, and I do like how in this version they give you all the characters right away. Cause honestly, it's annoying unlocking characters in like other games it was annoying so it's nice that they just gave you every character so you can play as who's you like i mean my characters automatically unlocked just so you... but yeah and also dlc characters are already unlocked which is really nice kind of added bonus to the playing on the switch so yeah so um oh i didn't even realize this i was playing with the wrong remote whatever I have two remotes, uh, one's for fr a friend, but uh, I normally use it for Mario Kart. That's why my Y button was so much better, okay. Oh, there. so, now here's the question. <laughs> I'm thinking about, do, would you guys, hmm, no, I was going to say, would you guys want to see 50cc again, but no, I don't want to play 50cc again. I want to go straight to 100cc, then I want to go to 150, then mirror, then 200cc. Once we get the mirrored and 200 CC, we're gonna be there a while, so that'll be fun. Whew. Oh, that's another thing. I don't think they'll have Breath of the Wild Link in the credits. Yeah, they won't. Now that I think about it. Oh, and I like how they show all these little cool little things, that, like the product placements. You know, it's kind of funny. I think it's very funny that they all made product placements and for like other characters. So yeah, next time on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, we will be going to 100cc. See you guys then.